Little Bee's Remains at Home. And in today's video, I am so excited to share with you guys some fun and easy DIY, Dollar Tree, and budget-friendly decor crafts. So this is another episode in my huge I Love Spring series. I'd love to share with you guys how you can make your home's boutique gorgeous on a budget. And I truly believe that y'all don't have to break the bank to have a fabulous, amazing home. Now, Easter Sunday is coming up this weekend. So no matter where you're at, I just want to say a little prayer for you guys. Keep going, give yourself grace, and give others grace as well. Now listen, without further ado, let's go ahead and plug in those glue guns. Get out your glitter and paint, and let's get to crafting. For this Dollar Tree DIY, I am really excited to share with you how to create this DIY little side table or garden planter. So I'm using five of the Dollar Tree garden planters, and they're in this really cool geometric shape. I hot glued the first two together, so I just flipped one over, hot glued it um, end to end, and then added in some stones for weight. We don't want our table flying away. And then I'm adding another layer of hot glue and flipping that garden planter over I'm just continuing to add it as I go try to do your best to get your seams together you can also use e6000 glue if this table is going to be outside or in the sunlight that would be a great idea and then once you get to the top you can choose whatever top you want you could use a mirror you could use a cute little plate the next thing I did was I used some of this really beautiful metallic spray paint and I decided to go a little bit glam with mine. Now, it's really cute white, but again, I wanted to add just a little bit of touch of glam to my back patio, and so I went painting it with this really beautiful gold spray paint, and I did one layer and then did another layer after that was dry. I'm also using this Dollar Tree charger, and this is a wooden, it's like a faux wooden charger. I didn't want to cover up the wood part, but I did want to make sure that the underneath part of this was sprayed gold as well so if you were to look up underneath the table it doesn't look like a charger I guess <laughs> and so I'm just using some hot glue and I'm going to hot glue the charger to the top of my table again use e6000 glue if this is going to be a high traffic table or it's going to get into the heat and then I just pop my little charger on top of that and then you can really go to town decorating it um, this is under a covered patio porch so I think it will be fine as is I have my little rote table out here as well as my little lemon table on my patio as well and here's how I styled it just with this really pretty planter and a couple of these other Dollar Tree planters and I'm going to share with you guys how to create this blue planter you will never guess what we used to make this so fun and fabulous on a total budget for this next Dollar Tree DIY I want to share with you all how to build a glamorous vase on a budget using Dollar Tree supplies. Okay, so we're gonna use these Dollar Tree candlesticks and then some of their mini fish bowls. And I'm just using E6000 glue and that's gonna give a permanent hold. And E6000 glue is great for gluing glass on glass. And then I used a dab of hot glue and I'm going to attach those and I let these dry for a while. In fact, I used them also in another DIY to share with you guys how to create like a little faux succulent garden. So you guys can fill these little glass bowls with pretty much anything that your heart desires or you can take it up another level and you can glue everything together and make this large vase. Okay, so I glued the E6000 um, to the bottom of the candlestick and had flipped the little bowl over and now I'm adding some hot glue again just for temporary and then permanent hold and then I added one of the Dollar Tree vases to the top of this and then I decided to get super extra and go for some gems or little faux acrylic jewels on the outside of my vase now don't mind the black part on that vase I am going to paint this and excuse my hot glue gun it has moss from another Dollar Tree project and that Dollar Tree moss is really hard to get off the hot glue guns so I need to give a good scraping but I apologize for its um, rather a crafty appearance so anyway again I'm just gluing some gems on and then be sure after you're done gluing all your gems on to like pull away any of those little strings from your glue if you decide to paint it like I did you guys could also add things down inside of that bowl vase to create just a really beautiful decor piece you don't have to paint this at all so then once I had that done I decided to add another layer of gems to the top of this I just went super extra on this one you guys 
And then I decided to paint it with this gold spray paint. Again, I wanted a glam, large, tall vase to put some spring summer flowers in and also to kind of match in with my little table that I created. Now I will tell you that this glass jar, because of the thin base, um, you may want to put something down inside of the vase when you make your floral arrangement to get it to not tip over if it's going to be in wind. I did notice like when I was making this arrangement outside, <laughs> it wanted to tip over because of the wind. And also I'm using these like dangling flowers and that probably also made it kind of a little bit uh, top heavy. So now I'm adding in some beautiful roses and those are just some Dollar Tree like blooming flowers. I can't remember what those are. Comment down below if you guys remember what those are. And these are just some roses that I had left over honestly from Christmas. If you guys go to the Michaels um, clearance sale on their florals, you guys can get 80% off any seasonal floral. So continue to add some florals, have fun with it, get creative and use whatever colors you have in your stash. For this Dollar Tree DIY, I am so excited to share with you how you can take one of those Dollar Tree garden planters and you can take a piece of paper and trace a little template. And then you can take one of the Dollar Tree placemats. And I chose this Moroccan tile placemat because I wanted to make this look like a real Moroccan um, tile garden planter. I've had this in my head to do for a while. So I was just really excited to make it come to life. So now I'm taking my little template and I'm drawing the little squares and I'm going to then cut those out and hot glue them around to make it look like a Moroccan tile vase. I've really noticed that, you know, you can really use blues in a lot of your spring summer decor and it can go with almost any style of spring summer decor like the Moroccan tiles or the blues. It can go glam. It can be very traditional. Um, and this little Dollar Tree placemat, I felt like was genius to put this together. I felt like it came out really high end. And of course it's on a total budget with a placemat and for $1 for a placemat and then $1 for the planter, you can't go wrong. So once you have all of your little squares cut, um, I did have to go in and kind of like trim mine up just a little bit. Then I'm just going to hot glue them around the entire planter. And also you have to work quickly, quickly once you get your glue on. So once you get that glue on, be ready ready to put your tile right on there or your faux piece of plastic. <laughs> Um, and I'm wondering almost too, if you couldn't use super glue on this part, you guys, let me know what you think about that. This is the first for me on this one. Um, so anyway, and then I'm just, again, adding glue all the way around. And I also tried to match up the tiles with how I cut them. So I cut them in wherever the next tile was I tried to make it look like it was like one flow although there was that there was that one corner that I had to cut a different size anyway now I'm going for it with a little bit of gold paint and this is the gold paint from Arteza brand it's really like looks makes it look really like real gold so it makes things look really high end you can get it on Amazon I'll link some in my store for you guys and now I'm just going to take um, my little foam piece from Dollar Tree and create a pretty little arrangement so I'm adding some greenery to the center and then some of these little faux Dollar Tree fern greenery pieces. And I just cut those apart to kind of give them like a blooming appearance. I also added in some stones to this planter so the planter doesn't go flying off of my patio or so it doesn't tip over or whatnot. It's good just to do that. Um, and then I'm just using some Dollar Tree moss and popping that in to cover up my little... Um, <laughs> piece of foam in there and then voila there we have a fabulous garden planter and it looks kind of Moroccan and chic on a budget you guys I think it's a fun idea and I also think it would be really nice to find a really beautiful stencil and try my hand at stenciling like some blue kind of Moroccan looking tile um, but this is very high-end kind of pottery barn inspired or you know just a little bit glam chic like something you would find at home goods but it's from Dollar Tree on a budget <laughs> 
Now this next Dollar Tree DIY is so easy and it's so fun and I feel like really budget friendly as well. So you're just gonna take some of the Dollar Tree canvases and they have this really amazing geometric canvas art that they have just put out. So you guys look in your picture section, which is also along with like your candles and candlesticks and all of that. But what I wanted to do with my canvas art, which it's beautiful to hang as is, don't get me wrong, but I wanted to frame mine. I wanted to look um, like it was a framed piece of art that I can just kind of set around my house and some little vignettes and whatnot. You could also hang this on the wall in kind of a little bit of a collage. So I'm just taking and using a crafting tool and some scissors. I'm cutting the canvas out and then with this five by seven picture frame, the little insert, I'm using that as my guide and then just cutting it out. And I will tell you, I did finally order some craft scissors. So hopefully my rusty dull scissors will be remedied here. They're not exactly rusty, but they are so dull. <laughs> anyway, so now I'm just going to pop the glass back in and then add my beautiful framed art. And I really think that this came out so fantastic. I think Dollar Tree, I love these frames. They're so classy and elegant. They're almost like a dark black wood insert of the frame and they have this gold around it. And I know Hobby Lobby sells this almost identical frame. It's not even as nice as this for way more than a dollar. So again, here is another idea for some framed canvas art. I also found this cute little like shabby chic, a bundle of flowers and lamb and little donkey or horse. And so I decided to use the lamb and also um, the little rose floral picture. And again, these pictures are beautiful, you guys, as is, but I'm trying to create like a little um, vignette of pictures and I'm not totally for sure where I want to put this yet in my house. I might either separate them or keep them together and just like make a little um, collage framed art wall type thing is what I'm trying to say. Anyway, here's how it looks after it's framed. I feel like it looks really heightened and chic. I was going to paint um, this frame, the ones with kind of the more shabby chic um, looking pictures, but then I decided against it. I really decided that I loved how they popped against that darker frame color and I have been mixing in a little bit of black um, recently into some of my pastel decor and I really feel like I love how it looks. It just looks a little bit more glam chic and a little bit more high end because it gives things a bit of dimension instead of it being so overly feminine. You have that nice, um, you know, just contrast, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Now, I did hate cutting down this little rose picture though because I did feel like it didn't quite fit in here it probably needed a little bit different size frame but i wanted it to be a collection and to all go together so here is how it turned out now i displayed it on my little outdoor patio table just to give you guys an idea of where you might want to put this i still need to redo some little vignettes in my house to make space for these or find a wall that i want to put them on but i think they're so fabulous look for some of these beautiful new framed or these canvas prints and then also some frames or you could just use as is happy crafting So excited to share this DIY with you. Now we're gonna take one of those little kids watering cans. It's the plastic, it's from the kids section, either in toys or in your like pool toy section of Dollar Tree. And I'm just going to take some of this smoky beige spray paint. I love this color, I think it's so pretty. And I'm just gonna give it a nice good coat. Now I did run out of my smoky beige and so I had to use another coat on here and it ended up just being white and that's what I had in my stash, which that's totally fine as well. Um, but I'll tell you, I think smoky beige is now my new favorite color and the smoky beige is available in the Rust-Oleum brand spray paint, the 2X Rust-Oleum brand. Now I'm taking my little painted Dollar Tree watering can, again, a kid's toy. I think it comes out so fabulous and I'm just adding in these pretty little roses. Now these roses did come from Hobby Lobby. I don't know how long ago because I picked them up from a neighbor's garage sale like three years ago probably and the tags even then looked old but Hobby Lobby does have beautiful like realistic roses so does Michael's and even Dollar Tree has beautiful roses you know just depending on what color you want and what budget you want to use on those and check out this beautiful tablecloth that I found at the thrift store this weekend it was two dollars it's so pretty and summery 
was so excited to find it. I knew I wanted it for my DIY for this video, but anyway, I just used some hydrangeas and some pretty little roses and I'm popping it in to this spring summer tablescape and it's just like this little peekaboo of a watering can. It's very subtle, it's very elegant. I could even like rim it with gold to match these dishes and my husband found these dishes at an auction and they were like $8 for the entire set so I'm stoked to find those as well. pots that I grabbed from Dollar Tree and again I used that smoky beige and just spray painted them and I have real soil in them and I've already successfully killed a couple of plants this season so I'm gonna go ahead and pop some faux flowers into here and I have no shame in my faux gardening games so comment down below if you guys are there with me but I'm using these tulips I found these super cheap at Walmart they were like three bucks for the bundle they're not the most high-end but they're gonna be on the back patio so I don't think it's gonna be that big of a deal and I just wanted something pretty I did bend the stems down and that helped them you know, go into the pot a little bit better. This is one of the larger Dollar Tree gardening pots. And then I just added them to these pretty little scrolly um, Hobby Lobby stands. And there you have some successful tulips on a budget. And I cannot kill these, which honestly, in the long run with some of the plants that I'm not that great with, I think might be a better idea. So I do like to supplement real flowers with fake flowers. So I'll have like some really beautiful real hanging baskets and then I'll have like some planters that just have faux flowers in them and you can even change them out if they're inexpensive faux flowers like after the summer sun fades them out change them out and once fall gets here you can put some fall leaves in once Christmas gets there you can put some Christmas greenery here's how it's coming together all with my little faux garden planter and a faux Moroccan tile um, a planter and all of these plants right here I think look beautiful and they're gonna stay alive which is what I love more than anything <laughs> fun and quick easy Dollar Tree DIY little cake stand or pedestal idea. I'm going to take some of these Dollar Tree candlesticks and I'm just going to glue them together end to end with a dab of E6000 glue and then I'm going to take this Dollar Tree mirror and I'm going to clip the like little mirror part off of there and that way I can just hot glue the mirror to the top of the candlestick and I'm using hot glue on this part because if I want to change change it out all I have to do is pull the mirror off and put a plate on there or something like that and again remove that little spot where the mirror is going to supposed to be hanging on the wall because it kind of makes it where it pops out and you want your uh, 
mirror to set flat on top of your little pedestal or your little candlestick. Okay, so these are candlesticks from Dollar Tree. And here we have some fabulous little cake stands, pedestals. You guys know I love these. I love decorating with them. I think they're so versatile. Okay, so here's how they look. They look pretty cute like this. But again, I'm going in with my smoky beige. And excuse my mess over there. <laughs> Just some little DIY ideas going on. But I'm going to use the smoky beige. And again, this is Rust-Oleum paint brand. And this isn't sponsored at all, but I just love their paint brand as well as the smoky beige color. I just think that it's like so nice and it's not quite as bright as white. I feel like it's something that you would see like on Pottery Barn. Um, anyway, I think these are amazing how they transformed. I almost did them black or gold. And really you guys could use any color you love, like whatever decorating color that you're using, go for that. So you guys know I love to pop in a secret question on my videos, and let's introduce ourselves and get to know each other. Um, I'm Olivia with Olivia's Romantic Home. So you guys comment down below your name, and if you want to leave the state that you live in, that would be fine too. So just say hey in the comments. I love to get to know everybody. Um, and I also have an Olivia's Romantic Home Facebook group page if you want to connect even more. There's a lot of fun DIY crafty people over there. It's totally free, and we have a lot of fun just in general on my Facebook. Facebook page. I post several DIY videos a day over there. So to enter my giveaway, all you guys have to do is comment down below, say hello, um, leave your name if you're comfortable doing that, or you can leave the state that you live in. Um, and so I live in Southern Missouri, a fun time is there, and it's really a beautiful area. I have lived here for the majority of my life and I love it here. We have all four seasons and it's just a really beautiful place to live. And I'm really proud that it's my home and I feel like it's just a happy place to be as well. Um, so thank you guys for being here and I will say it's nice to get to know you. I hope that I can learn more about you guys and that you guys connect even more with me. <laughs> and, and that um, will give you an Follow my Facebook page. Now here's Benji Bear. He is causing a commotion. I could not figure out why he was barking and barking and barking he's wanting me to play with him with this little toy this little chew bone toy or hand it to him it was like sitting next to his toy box which is just like a little dollar tree bin but he's scared of the toy box for some reason i figured out so anyway he's always causing a commotion but say hi to benji Bear as well i love y'all another fun and fabulous crafty decor adventure. It's a true blessing and honor to have you all here. If you all are new, welcome. I'm Olivia Olivia's Romantic Home and I love to share with you guys how you can make your home's boutique gorgeous on a budget. I truly believe that y'all don't have to wreck the bank to have a fabulous, amazing home. And for everybody that has been along with me on this YouTube journey, Thank you guys for supporting me no matter where you're at, whether you're from the beginning, the middle, or up until now. This is going to be my fifth season on YouTube, and listen, it has been a great ride. I am so, so thankful to be able to do what I love and share what I love and also have the flexibility um, being able to work at home. So thank you guys every single time that you guys tune in when you follow my Facebook page. I have all of these romantic home Facebook page, Instagram, whatnot. Um, I hope to put goodness out there, creativity and joy. Now listen, I am a one woman show. So recently I broke my ankle and I've talked to you guys quite a bit about that. Um, and it has been such a journey um, not being able to get around on my own like I want to. I mean, I am a busy mama, busy gal. I love to just be constantly going, 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 going. So I feel like God's really set me down for just a moment and said, hey, you know, you need to take a deep breath. So I feel like that's what I've been doing. And I'm thankful that you guys have given me the grace um, to be able to do that. And I'm beginning to get back into the swing of things. Now, this particular week that you guys are watching this video on is going to be Easter Sunday. So I do have my brother here and his family from Pennsylvania. And we have been busy, busy, busy to the point where I'm like, did, was I this busy when my kids were little? Because they have little kiddos. Um, but it has been a joy and a blessing to get to spend time with them. And I am going to be back next week with some all new content for you guys. So I hope you guys are excited for that. And I hope you guys have a blessed, joyful Easter Sunday. For some reason, sometimes Easter Sunday makes me feel a little bit emotional. Um, and so if you guys are feeling that, um, just know that I just think that that's God's way of bringing things to your heart. Say a little prayer about it. Ask others to pray for you. Reach out to others. I know I've been reaching out to a lot of the women in my life and just praying blessing over them and hugs. And I want to do that for you guys as well. I just want to pray blessing over you all. 
and hugs and just love and joy. And no matter where you're at in your crafting journey, your decorating journey, your health journey, your mental health journey, um, your relationship journey, I think probably these last couple of years have been the biggest changes for me as a wife and mother. Um, as far as, you know, my kiddos getting ready to be out of the house. I have my older son has graduated and he's been in college now for a couple of years. I'm going to have to get another puppy dog because my daughter's going to be graduating in 2025. And so I know, you know, and Benji Bear, my little puppy dog, he might be lonely. We're definitely probably going to be lonely after so sleep. So anyway, that being said, I kind of went off on a tangent. I just want you guys to know that you watch my videos and you see what I've edited and put together for you guys creatively and craft wise, but know that there's things going on behind the scenes that you guys don't see good and, you know, sometimes trials. So I have them. I know you guys have them, especially in the last couple of years after COVID, we've all had some pretty, probably pretty big life changes. So I'm just saying that because I want you guys to know that I'm human and you guys are human and I want to um, just allow you to give yourselves some grace. I think as women, we're really hard on each other and I think we need to give ourselves grace, but not only ourselves, but the others in our life. So whoever God has tasked you with caring for them, um, you're caring for children, maybe elderly, sick parents, maybe for yourself or whatever. Hey, just keep doing your best. That's all we can do. And hey, we all mess up. I mess up and have to ask for forgiveness all the time. Um, so just know that every day is a new day that God has given us. It's a new chance to love on one another, to smile, to laugh, to just do a little bit better. And you know, some days are better than others. So I love y'all. I'm hugging all of your hearts so tight. And I'm so proud of this community. I can drop down into my comment section still, even with quite a bit of people that I have following me and know that this comment section is going to be full of love and joy and grace. And so I just want to let you guys know that you are on the social media platform right now watching this YouTube video. There's a comment section. All you guys have to do is drop a comment down below. Say something wonderful, maybe your favorite scripture or just something nice or maybe some sweet emojis. Pray for somebody. Ask for prayer if you need it. Um, and, you know, maybe share your favorite Easter memory that you have as a child growing up or when you were a mother or maybe even a grandmother. Um, let's light up this comment section with positivity and joy because this is actually a community here. It's not just me. I couldn't do this without God's grace and help and without you guys here, obviously. Um, so just that being said, I just want to bless y'all and I hope that you bless others and I want you to know that you're a blessing to me in this community as well. Me being able to share my love of crafting and decorating on a budget, you know, when I started out, nothing. I mean, we were, yeah. So I'm still in my same little house and, um, you know, I have a little bit more money for craft supplies. So that's a good thing and a blessing as well. But hey, you guys, um, we're just all doing our best out there. So remember your words when they're written are very powerful. So whatever you text or type to somebody or comment to somebody, it can be taken in a little bit more by the spirit. And so in the Proverbs, it says for kind words are like honey to the soul. Um, let me know if you guys know that scripture, but it's just a reminder to use kind words um, when you're online or even when you're talking to someone, texting, phone calls, whatever. So do your best to be kind online and in person. I love y'all. I'm wishing you a gorgeous, fabulous, blessed day. My ankle is healing. I'm starting to get it out of the boot just a little bit. So that is a huge plus. I hope to be back to full speed this summer and going into fall and Christmas. I cannot even tell you the joy that I am looking forward to being able to just walk down the hallway and <laughs> not in Thing. So I love y'all. I'm wishing you a gorgeous five this blessed day. I'll let you guys get back to it. And until our next video, remember, be kind to yourselves and be kind to one another. Talk to you guys very soon. Bye-bye.